And so I take this opportunity to say a warm welcome to everybody seated here with the team of HDIF. Um, we have members of CCBRT. I also would like to uh, welcome our dear guests, Karibu Sana. CCBRT came on the stage when uh, our health services were not optimal. And so they said, uh, what can we do to impact change? They realized nobody will be comfortable without a good eyesight. So they started an eye program. With the number of clients that went to CCBRT seeking for services, Tamali and Erin have always had this question from me. How do you ensure that quality services are provided to each of those hundreds waiting to be seen in a queue? Lean is a process that maximizes customer value. It minimizes waste. It creates more value for customers with fewer resources. When lean is practiced completely, management becomes simple and more accurate. Well, I hope that lean is going to help us. On many occasions, probably more often than not, when we measure accurately team doing an improvement project um, and they actually measure the work activities of a, a triage nurse, they find that more than 50% of that person's work time is actually waste. The first thing is that True North has two pieces. The first piece is customer satisfaction, and the second piece is the development of people. They're equally proportioned. The, the real issue about people development is that it is a business issue. It is not something that's nice to do, it's not something you do when it when the time is there, it's something that you do because it will drive, develop, and make the business better and better at what it does. What are your experiences so far implementing Lean at your organization? I think at CCBRT, when I think back six, six years ago, or five years ago, I think we had a minimum investment. We had one lean coach, and as I said in the beginning, you know, we went wild. You know, we, we not understanding it really properly. We, we we just started training every corner of the organization, thinking that this would change the organization, and um, and that was wrong. You need to invest in the lean expertise. It's 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 an expertise on its own, and there to, uh, as a manager, um, to invest in that expertise. Call in, help, uh, to accompany you in this journey. So today is going to be different. Um, today we're going to actually put into practice what we learned. Um, so it's in a simulation game. There's been a bus, bus accident. You're working in the uh, accident and trauma unit of the of the hospital and you've been given notice that there are going to be 15 patients arriving very soon this is the patient uh, it involves blowing up the balloon so that it is the width of an a4 page next step we need to triage the patients by the color red first then yellow than any other color. And we need to number the patients sequentially. The patient gets examined, the patient goes to x-rays. Last but not least, the patient is admitted to the ward by placing them inside a plastic bag. All what I've learned, I'm gonna share with you know my immediate supervisor but where I work. And uh, uh, maybe if I could give a suggestion from how the health work, uh, health sector works, we I wish we could have other collaborators in the health sector, uh, the other government collaborators, meaning the uh, minister of the president's office, uh, regional administration, and local government. I think it, could, it would have been more meaningful. But uh, all in all, it's I think it's just the beginning. So as we move along we can have all the other collaborators on board and then make sure that we move together in one direction. To me, I think we, we have planted a seed 
um, and it's now what will people do with this seed? You know, are they going to live it here or are they going to go back to the work environment, whatever it is, whether it's a hospital, you know, it's a banking or, you know, telecoms and try to do something with it. Um, but I think from the exercises we've done, the, the play roles we've done, I think it has been very interesting to see how people have engaged and the excitement of people trying to also relate it to their day-to-day -day, uh, work. So my truly hope is that they will go back and try to do something as little as a small, uh, because we are encouraged to start small as well um, when they go back to their workplaces. We have to do a lot more with a lot less. And so we have to come up with innovative solutions. It happens that there is a solution out there that's happened called Lean, and that uh, it really is a process of helping people eliminate the stuff they don't need. And as a result of that, then we lower cost and, and improve quality. Well, um, I hope that they've not only been informed, but inspired to, to, to do improvement work. Um, I've seen how it can make a big difference in the healthcare sector to service delivery to our patients and uh, if we've been able to infect them with the continuous improvement virus here in Eastern Africa, I would think that's a great accomplishment.